Adventures of a Comfort Cook. I'm Mary Kokenauer. This is my kitchen. Today we're going to be making a nice meat sauce. We're not going to use any of that jarred stuff. We're going to make it from scratch. So why don't you come with me and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so when you want to make your sauce, you want to use good tomatoes. Now, Roma tomatoes, they're nice and meaty, not a lot of juice. You don't want the juice. You want that meat in your sauce. Guess what? Sometimes the store, they don't got any. They don't, they don't look nice. So you got to go to the next best thing, which is your canned tomatoes. Now canned tomatoes, you want to get the organic crushed. This is full circle market brand. Now what's in this can? We've got organic tomato puree. We got organic tomatoes. And of course the citric acid because you do need a preservative that's in the can. This is a good brand. Now you're going to use three cans of this. It's going to be about 10, 10 and a half cups. All right, and then you're going to use some diced tomatoes. Now, we use diced tomatoes because we like it chunky. You don't like it chunky? Then use four cans of the crushed. So we have two pounds of ground beef. We're talking lean. We want at least like 93, 7, uh, 95, 5, even 90, 10 is good. Because see, see all this oil? We're going to drain this. All meat's going to cre create oil. We want to drain that once we're done browning. We don't want that in our sauce. Who wants oily sauce? I threw the onions and the garlic, minced garlic in there so they could all cook together nice. Now in this bowl here, we got those nice crushed tomatoes. We got 10 cups of the crushed tomatoes. In this bowl here, I got three cups of diced. There, We've got a cup and a half of tomato paste. That's going to be our thickener. Nobody wants wimpy, watery sauce. Now here's all our ground beef with nice sautéed onions and garlic. And this is our herbal mix. Now, I have a coffee grinder. Two coffee grinders, really, one to make my coffee beans go nice and uh, ground. But I have a coffee grinder that's just for herbs and spices. So that way I can get the full leaf, the full seed, grind it up to the way I want it. So this is a half cup mixture of rosemary, oregano, basil, marjoram, and thyme. So we're going to all put everything in the pot now. So guess what? There's really no order because you're going to mix it up before you turn it on. Well, we're going to put our meat in. Look at that nice meat there, all ground up. Nice soft onions, all that garlic. The oil has been drained out. Like I said, who wants oily sauce? All righty. There's all our meat in there. Next, we're going to put our diced tomatoes. And there's really no water. 
There's no water because you're going to mix it up. Let's put a little tomato paste in. This is a cup and a half of the paste. Now, if you are not getting everything I'm saying, all my recipes are located on my food blog, also called Food Adventures of a Comfort Cook. As you can see, I'm wearing my favorite PJs here. Eeyore, he's my hero. Hey, it's comfort cooking. Get comfortable. Put on your PJs. We're going to put our little herb in here. Look at that. And now here comes the tomatoes. Now, I'm not wearing an apron. A lot of people wear an apron. I don't wear an apron because I can tell you what's going to happen. I'm going to wear a full apron. I'm going to take that apron off. It's going to be nice and clean. Underneath, it's going to look like a splatter highway. Don't know how I do it, but I do it. And clean that all up. Whoop, clean as you go. Mix this up. Get in there. Mix it up a little bit. We've got all those tomatoes coming up. You can see the meat. I didn't say I was neat, dear. Cooking. you got to cook with a lot of love, a lot of passion, a lot of mess. If it ain't fun, why are you doing it? All right, so we got all our ingredients in the pot. We put on the lid. I put the latches up just to get them away, on my, out of my way. Now, do not lock the latches. Somebody did that. I read about it. Boom! All over the place. Pasta sauce all over. You don't want to do that. So don't, you know, leave them open. Just get them out of your way. Now, it's on low. It's going to cook for six hours. But with a, with a crock pot here, you don't want a digital. And I'm going to tell you why. This is set on low. When I come back in six hours, it's going to be all cooked up. Now, you get a digital. You set it on low. You put how, how the time is. You come back six hours later. Well, during that six hours, guess what? Your electricity blinked. That digital timer you had so set up nice is gone. It's on zero. Nothing's happening. It's not cooking nothing. You have a crock pot like this with the manual. Electricity comes back on. Look at that. It's still cooking. And it might be maybe an hour more. You got to wait. It's not done. Eh? But at least it's cooking. Digital, no cooking. All right. So we'll see you in six hours. We're going to have a nice meat sauce ready to go. It's been six hours. Let's look at this wonderful sauce I've made today. Okay, look at that chunky, meaty. Oh, if you were in my kitchen, the smell would knock you over with delight. Well, now our sauce is ready. We can make anything we want. How about some lasagna?